Welcome back, dear friends. In today's video, I will show my recent games uh, from tournament in Netherlands. Let's go. Yes, I was playing tournament in Netherlands in Vlissingen. And among the players, I can name uh, Erwin Lamy, myself, Greek player, Antonios Pavlidis, uh, Barat, and um, some others, 25 plus players. I should say also that in 2023, I also played this tournament and I managed to uh, win this tournament. Yes, uh, my opponent from from the first round was 1900 player and we had Nidorf, uh, bishop e2, e5, knight b3, bishop e7. Yes, if uh, usually white is here playing bishop e3, black is going bishop e6, not short castle, because if short castle, then g4 allows white to get uh, some activity. Short castle, a uh, short castle, not really bishop e6, it allows extra for f5 ideas. Short castle, bishop e3, bishop e6. Here, earlier I faced uh, queen d3, knight d5 moves. My good friend Roberto Vanissian uh, played uh, against me this position several times. Yes, this uh, time I faced f3, and I was choosing already between uh, knight bd7, b5, knight c6. I did not like knight c6 really because of uh, knight d5, and I did not like b5 and because of a4 before knight d5, and doesn't matter how do you take on d5, always you will have some problems with uh, far advanced b4 pawn. Um, yes, but knight bt7 was decent move. For example, if a4 stopping b5, then black always can go knight b6 with, with the ideas to go knight c4 or d5. Yes, I'm not sure why didn't I play knight bt7. I played queen c7. My point of going queen c7 was uh, delaying the development of b8 knight, and whenever white is playing a2 a4 to stop b5, then to get uh, knight c6 and knight b4. Yes, knight d5, bishop takes d5, he takes d, knight b7, c4, and we got very standard uh, type of position, uh, which is probably in white's favor uh, because what a black committed uh, queen uh, on c7 too early, they definitely had much uh, more useful moves than placing queen on c7. I think already white is having some uh, slight pressure. Yes, I continued uh, making uh, useful moves like rook f8 with the ideas to go bishop f8, g6, bishop g7, or bishop f8, e4. Yes. Here I'm not sure about knight d2. I don't think white uh, really needs knight on d2 so early. I think rook c1 or king h1 would have been much stronger. Yes, knight d2. I played bishop f8, and probably my opponent was afraid of some e4. That's why he played bishop d3 in this way, trying to stop e4. Yes, I played g6, uh, restricting bishop on d3, queen c2. Yes, uh, uh, these uh, moves are uh, clearly showing that my opponent doesn't have any experience playing uh, similar positions. Yes, queen doesn't do anything on c2. I played rook c8, not only threatening knight d5, also uh, trying to move my queen away and then get this b7, b5 ideas. So I played rook c1, not allowing knight takes d5, queen b8, 
And here my opponent uh, made a crucial mistake after which white is completely lost. And my point uh, of going queen b8 was if, for example, white is going queen b1, then b5. Yes, but uh, my opponent did not uh, see that uh, pawn on d5 is hanging. He pushed uh, before and knight d5 followed. Yes, if c takes d, of course, uh, you are losing your queen. Bishop f2, knight d4, and knight c5. Of course, queen b4 move is not working because of knight takes d3. Bishop c5, d takes c. Black is having two extra pawns and uh, full control over dark squares. So knight e4, threatening knight f6, rook d8, bishop b1, bishop e7, stopping knight f6, rook c d1, rook d4, a3, knight c6, position is completely lost for white, knight c3, my opponent tries to get his knight on d5, but he blundered another move, which is knight f5. Black is collecting another pawn on c4, queen a4, knight c4, and nothing is really hanging, because if rook d4, then c takes d comes, and knight on c4 is protected. So knight d5 followed, queen d6 takes, takes rook c1, knight b6, and my opponent resigned. Black is being uh, three pawns up. I think the crucial mistake was when my opponent pushed b4 and allowed knight takes d5. And let's continue uh, checking some other games. Yes, my second round opponent was from Ukraine, uh, rated almost 2100, and uh, very young, 14 years old. Yes, I started the game with, uh, with a new move for me, uh, C2, C4. Yes, I play c4 very rarely and for this game i decided to surprise not only my opponent also myself so c4 is 6 d4 d5 knight f3 knight f6 g3 catalan uh, of course many setups and many moves are possible my opponent took on c4 and played c6 here white is choosing between a4 knight e5 short castle i played a4 and i'm sure that uh, I myself had this position with the black pieces against uh, my friend Shant uh, Sargusian, and I played bishop b4, bishop d2, a5. Yes, c5 is another option. My opponent played b5. Uh, yes, if white is taking a takes, c takes knight d5, then black is having knight d5. Yes, I was thinking uh, I was choosing between short castle knight e5. And eventually, I went knight e5, threatening a takes b, and threatening knight c6, and forcing opponent to go knight e5, and here short castle. And my opponent played bishop b7, I think, uh, recent move, uh, not only protecting pawn on c6, also threatening some knight d7 ideas. So a takes b5 doesn't uh, promise anything, but always uh, a takes b, c takes b, b3 should be considered so i pushed e4 and here i was uh, thinking about knight f6 and knight b4 uh, yes and after knight b4 my idea was to go knight c3 attack pawn on b5 and maybe later on try to open the center with d4 d5 pushes Knight f6, knight c3, attacking the pawn, and here mainly I was considering a7, a6, protecting the pawn on b5, because white is threatening to take on b5 twice. Uh, and after a6, my idea was to go d4, d5. My opponent really surprised me with b4, knight e2. Now white is ready to take on c4 and c5. My opponent played. So here I was really thinking about knight c4, a5. I liked a5 very much with the intention to always go queen a4 checks. But in the end, of course, I, I noticed that I'm able to push uh, d5. Of course, white is threatening to go knight f4 and then capture on c4 back. It takes, it takes. If you don't take on d5, then white is again going knight f4. If you take it with the knight, then again knight f4 wins the game. Bishop d5 and here 
white is not going knight f4 bishop g2 or bishop d5 queen d5 white is having intermediate nice tactical shot which is knight f7 here my opponent uh, collapse immediately by taking on f7 with the king and allowing knight f4 after which position is completely hopeless yes bishop f7 would have been uh, the strongest and here i was thinking about uh, trading the queens and taking on a8 or taking on a8 directly i think in the end uh, i wanted to to make this move um, work yes what is better but it's still some some play yes king f7 knight f4 and of course white is being completely winning white will take on d5 very very soon and along uh, light squares um, black is very soft and uh, we will see very soon so knight c6 knight takes d5 rook c8 another uh, good move which is queen e2 threatening queen c4 and if knight d5 queen c4 anyway comes yes here i did not take queen c4 because of knight d5 so takes takes queen e6 is not possible because of bishop d5 queen a6 attacking uh, both the pieces knight d7 rook e1 bishop e5 queen takes a7 bishop d4 my opponent attacks on f2 bishop e3 bishop b2 rook d1 black does not have any development and white can afford uh, himself sacrificing pawn on b2 now white is threatening bishop takes c5 so bishop c3 followed uh, bishop c5 takes takes and black is completely tight uh, rook c5 queen c5 as white is threatening just to take the pawn uh, long term ideas can be pushing the pawn to a8 king f7 queen c4 king g6 is not possible because of rook e6 and if you my opponent went king f8 the queen takes b4 king f7 queen b3 and here he resigned i think the crucial mistake was uh, when he pushed b4 and after knight e2 he played c5 and of course uh, after d5 after captures on d5 he took uh, back um, with the bishop on d5 and allowed knight takes f7 tactical shot let's continue and my third round opponent was uh, Johannes Rapazzo from Switzerland. Again, very young, 14-15 uh, years old player, rated uh, very close to 2300. And uh, he was uh, well prepared. So again, I played Nadorf. And here, my first round opponent played Bishop E2. And in this game, Johannes uh, played knight uh, knight b3. I should mention that uh, second and third games had been played the same day, so we didn't have much time um, to prepare and to check um, opponents' uh, games. Yes, knight b3. Black is uh, having many options. I chose. Going e6, uh, g4, b5. Here, if g5, then black is having b4. So bishop g2, threatening b5. I played bishop b7, here g5. And now b4 does not work because of knight d5. So that's why knight fd7. All these you can find in here is uh, neither of course. And uh, I should say that my opponent, even here, he continued uh, blitzing and he pushed. Uh, f4 and i really want to recommend uh, uh, who is interested to uh, to find some new uh, fresh uh, positions uh, against neither they can uh, check this line and especially this game further because i i find uh, this idea with f4 quite interesting Yes, here uh, I was choosing between knight c6, bishop e7, h6, or b4. 
Honestly speaking, I did not like much going bishop e7 or going knight c6. Uh, and of course, uh, my opponent allowed me to go before, so I decided to go uh, and push uh, the knight away. Yes, I was thinking about going h6. Of course, if uh, g6 or g takes h, then black is getting this queen h4 check. And if not, then h takes g, f takes g. Black is getting a very good outpost on e5. But here I did not like this f5. For example, h takes g, f takes c, f takes c, queen g4 comes, which can be very unpleasant. e6 is hanging, g5 is hanging, and e takes it, f queen e2. Now white is threatening e takes f, and uh, I think white is just doing uh, great. So that's why, and here, of course, I could push before. Uh, I should uh, mention that after 92, we are just transposing to my game, but also my my opponent could uh, could sacrifice the knight. Not it takes the it takes self. So I didn't have any knowledge, and I was really scared of allowing something like this. So that's why I started with before 92 h6. Um, but of course, uh, with the knight on e2, queen h4 ideas are not that uh, dangerous for white because they can always go knight g3. Uh, and I should say that here, um, after the game, when we checked with uh, with the modern engines, uh, we realized that uh, g6 uh, move is quite interesting. For example, you take on g6, white is just going queen d3. And white is having long-term compensation. Yes, but my opponent surprised me with f5. Yes, I took it uh, on f5 and g6. I should say that uh, I have seen uh, in matter of many possible sacrifices long and short term, uh, but uh, I never seen something similar. Yes, here my initial idea was to go this, but then I realized that g takes f comes. For example, king f7, there is bishop f4, queen f4, rook f1. And if you don't take on f7, then, for example, king e7, white always has some knight d4 idea. So if you go there, queen h5 move is always at least uh, there, and knight a5 can be very un unpleasant. So that's why I took on g6. My opponent uh, played short castle, knight e5. I think black is forced to place the knight on d e5, so knight f4. So the idea is being that uh, e takes f is uh, threatening. And here I played bishop e7, but uh, I could go knight bd7, which would have been very uh, interesting. I was afraid of e takes f, and uh, I did not see that uh, white is having, black is having just bishop takes g2, and if you take king g2, then g takes f comes. I was scared of this check, but simply g6, and if knight g6, rook g8, uh, black is just winning. So I could go knight b7, I did not see it, I played bishop e7, my opponent found the strongest queen e2, and f takes c is not uh, possible because of uh, knight e6 ideas. I played bishop f6, and here my opponent blundered, he could simply go e takes f, and let's say if queen b6 there is bishop e3 my idea was to take bishop g2 and if you take queen g2 queen b6 and if king h1 i wanted always to go queen c6 but here white is having knight d5 which i uh, missed and what is doing uh, great here yes uh, knight g6 my opponent um, took but he blundered that in the end of the line after knight e5 bishop b7 move white is having uh, black is having queen b6 and doesn't matter what uh, white does black is taking back on b7 and my opponent here uh, resigned very interesting line um, something new and especially this f4 move with the ideas uh, to always go f5 and whenever white is playing h6 
uh, black is playing h6 then always uh, f5 yes i managed to uh, win the third round and i had three out of three and uh, among the um, players as i already mentioned uh Irvin lami was playing and uh, many other 25 plus uh, players hope uh, you liked uh, the video and i will uh, continue recording uh, more videos for you dear viewers thank you